Apple's long rumored augmented reality headset might soon become a reality. A well connected member of Apple's supply chain, Min Chi Kuo, claimed that the company is likely to introduce the device this spring or at its developer conference in June with a launch in the second half of the year. A difficult road is ahead for an Apple augmented reality headset whenever it launches. Both well funded digital firms and the biggest names in the sector have been plagued by augmented reality technologies. Google, Facebook, and Microsoft have all made significant attempts to develop the technology but have so far failed. In its aim of creating a metaverse for which augmented reality and virtual reality will serve as important conduits, Facebook has even changed its name to Meta Platforms. However, the corporation apparently shelved a project for commercial AR glasses last year and its costly investments in VR. In the first three quarters of 2022, Meta Reality Lab sector, which includes VR, had operational losses of $9.4 billion. Apple should have an advantage in creating a face-mounted computer that the general public would genuinely want to wear, given its talent for creating simple, aesthetically pleasing goods. But even a business with Apple's capabilities would find it a difficult task. Since at least 2016, when Chief Executive Tim Cook stated on an earnings call that Apple was high on AR for the long haul, the business has been experimenting with the technology. However, all that time may have resulted in a product that only has a small market. According to a tech news website, The Information, the prototype that Apple suppliers are now working on looks like a pair of ski goggles and requires a wire to an extra power pack that the user will also have to wear and important components still appear to be under development. Apple's augmented reality headgear is behind schedule due to challenges with mechanical component drop testing and the availability of software development tools. In general, Apple have been patient in waiting for the appropriate moment to act. But considering that it is anticipated that its other operations would do poorly, the company may feel added pressure to release something fresh this year due in part to the COVID lockdowns and social upheaval in China that have hampered the company's manufacturing operations there. Wall Street now anticipates iPhone revenue for the fiscal year ending in September to be level with last year. While Mac sales are anticipated to decline 5% after three years of consecutive double-digit growth spurred by the pandemic, service revenue is anticipated to grow to the single-digit level for the first time ever. According to projections from FactSet, total hardware sales, which still make up 80% of Apple's overall revenue, are predicted to increase by just 1% this fiscal year. To make a difference for a corporation expected to surpass the $400 billion revenue threshold this year, Apple's augmented reality device would need to be a huge home run. According to market research company IDC, total sales of VR and AR headsets will reach about 12.9 million units in 2023, a significant increase of 32% from projected sales for the previous year. Even if it is assumed that Apple received exactly half of that money at a cost double that of the market leader Meta Quest 2 right now, it would only increase Apple's annual revenue by a meager 1%. Even if Apple displays the augmented reality device this spring, it might be some time before customers can put one on. The business normally releases products right after they go on sale, but it has given new device families that require content from other developers longer lead times. The first iPhone was unveiled six months before going on sale, whereas the Apple Watch had an eight months lead time. A setback from Apple would suggest that even the most well-funded design studio in the world is unable to solve the problem of widespread adoption of the technology due to the lack of superior AR apps that have yet to materialize. This would feel like a disappointing moment for all tech lovers.